Hey, what's up, everybody? All right, so today I'm coming at you with this menu number three, Chili Mac, Food Packet Long Range Patrol. It's pretty self-explanatory. The Food Packet Long Range Patrol is a lighter weight meal, so they can carry more of these with less weight. And it's for the Special Forces who ride on, like, Long Range Patrols and stuff like that. Pretty self-explanatory. Like I said, there's a lot of information about these out there and on YouTube and a lot of reviews of uh, meals like this. So we're not going to beat you down with a bunch of information that you don't want to hear. You just want to check the meal out. All right, without further ado, we'll try this pillable seal out and get this sucker opened up. And I don't always have a whole lot of luck with these pillable seals, but uh, we'll give it a shot. Get that opened up real easy. All right, get our contents out here. All right, right on top here, we've got the toasted corn kernels, and there's your nutritional information. And... Here's our date code, 89th day of 2012. Next, we have our freeze-dried chili mac with beef. And you're not going to be able to see the nutritional information on that. Government issue spoon here. We've got our accessory packet. We'll take a look at that here in a second. Here we've got cheese spread with bacon, 1.5 ounce. We've got peanut M&Ms. All right, there's the back of the package on the M&Ms. Here we've got plain crackers. There's your nutritional information. 122nd day, 2012. French vanilla cappuccino, instant powder. And there's your nutritional information and ingredients on that. All right, we'll check out our uh, accessory packet. And this is accessory packet two, long range patrol. Special to the long range patrols. First, we've got our toilet paper or US issue butt ration. We've got sugar, got chewing gum, times two on the uh, butt ration. We've got a sachet of Tabasco sauce, iodized salt. Moist towelette, matches, DD Bean and Sons, red tip. Here we've got our creamer, non dairy dry. And lastly, we have our freeze dried coffee. 30th day of 2012 on that. All right, we'll get all this laid out and we'll see what all we get in here. All right, so there's everything in menu number three chili macaroni. You got peanut MMs, toasted corn kernels, crackers. You got your main chili mac, French vanilla cappuccino cheese spread with bacon, and your accessories. All right, I'm going to get all this out onto the tray. We'll start giving this stuff a try. Okay, first thing we're going to do is prepare our freeze-dried chili mac with beef. And this is from Oregon Freeze-Dried, better known as Mountain House. And we're going to use our knife to cut it open. And uh, thanks to sticky fingers, we know to do that. These do have tear notches to open them up, but they just never open up right. So, all right. Let me get this thing cut open. See what kind of hiss we get on this. Pretty good hiss. Good sharp knife. Let's take a look at our entree. Okay. This is going to be a ton, a ton of food. Tried to get that straightened out enough for you guys to see the nutritional facts. And there's your ingredients. And here is our instructions. And this says to add 16 ounces of hot water. Three quarters of a canteen cup to the pouch. Stir, wait 10 minutes. Hot water may be added in stages to keep food hot. So, kind of I like to loosen it up a little bit in there. I'll probably put about 12 or 13 ounces of water in this to begin with because... If you put the recommended amount of water in these things, it, it's very runny, usually. Alright, so, uh, got 16 ounces of water here. I'm not going to put it all in there, because if you do, usually it's way too much. So, I'm just going to add it in stages like it says you can do. So, alright, here we go. Okay, instantly I smell a strong odor of tomato sauce. Get our spoon opened up. We'll give this a good stir. Well, oh, I can smell them beans in there too. Yeah, boy. Hold that over here good. And give it a shake. set it off to the side to do its rehydrating. Okay, next we'll prepare our French vanilla cappuccino instant powder. Now these are supposed to have tear notches at the top, but this one does not. Or yeah, it does. 
I'll see it now. There it is. It says to add six ounces of water, hot or cold. And since I don't have any other cold drink in here, I'm going to add cold water. All right, we'll zip that up. Fold it over a couple times and shake it for one full minute. And I'm going to put that in this cup right here so you guys can see it. Check out this French vanilla cappuccino. Next, we'll prepare our coffee. The freeze-dried Diario coffee. Okay, that looks kind of funny. Actually, don't think the coffee's any good, but we'll go ahead and prepare it anyway. Put our sugar in there. Our non dairy creamer. Okay, we'll add about eight ounces of water. Well, as you can see, that coffee's floating up to the top and not really wanting to dissolve, so not real sure about this coffee. I'll give it a quick stir and see if that'll dissolve real quick. It's not really looking like it wants to. I didn't see any dry mold on it, but it's actually stuck to the bottom of the cup. Okay, next we'll check out our toasted corn kernels. Mm, they smell really good. And they give you a lot of them. We'll take out the desk and pack. And we'll check out our M&Ms and see how they've held up. Being five years old. So it looks like they're all kind of cracked so you can see what happens over time and a little bit of heat expansion on that chocolate and stuff but they'll be fine these M&Ms are just fine to eat so next we'll get our crackers opened up see if we can hear a hiss on these oh yeah that was a good one Alright, we'll give our cheese spread with bacon a little knead here real quick. We'll get some of that put out on these, one of these crackers over here. You see how our five-year-old cheese is held up? Alright, there's our cheese face. We'll save some of this cheese spread for maybe the uh, main entree, which our main should be ready to go. We'll get it out here onto the tray and check it out. Oh yeah, that's looking really good. If you can see down in there, but we're about to dump it out here on the tray. Alright, here's our chili mac with beef. Alright, there we go. We got our entree out, and that is a ton of food. That's probably like a pound and a half of food, roughly. It's nice and thick. It's not real runny, and it's so much that it completely fills up this compartment of the tray. So, I'm actually really anxious to try this out. So, we're going to get started with the chili mac. You can see some big red beans in there, or chili beans. Some actually pretty good chunks of beef in there. And you got your elbow macaroni right there. Get you a close-up of that. 
All right, here we go, down the hatch. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that's really good. The macaroni's not exactly al dente. The beef's very prevalent in the taste. You can taste a whole lot of that beef in there. The sauce is really good. It's acidic. It's, it's a nice, smooth tomato sauce. It's very good. One thing I noticed is the beans aren't really hard, so that's so that's really good. The macaroni, I think maybe it could have been uh, a little more done. Maybe I didn't leave it set long enough, but I left it for the recommended amount of time. So maybe a little bit of extra time on that would have been good. But this is very, very tasty. And I want to try that out with some of this cheese, because I think some of this cheese would definitely go well with this. Just put a little bit right there and mix it in. Try it with the uh, cheddar bacon cheese spread. All right, here we go. Well, that's really good. That adds that nice, creamy, dairy flavor of the cheese. And I can actually even taste the bacon in that. That's really good. I'll probably add that to some more of this and eat that. This is just such a huge entree. There's so much of it. I'll probably share this with my son. But I want to try out these crackers next. I'll just try a piece of cracker on its own here. All right, we'll try out just the cracker on its own. Very floury. Uh, your typical MRE crackers, I wouldn't call them a saltine because saltines are a lot softer than these. These are a lot more dense than what a typical saltine is. But I want to try it out with that uh, cheese spread on there. Looks pretty good. And cheese spread with bacon. That's rich, creamy, salty, very cheesy. And just barely pick up the bacon. I could taste more of the bacon when I mixed it into the chili mac. But I'm going to add a little bit of the crackers over here where I've got the cheese at and somewhere I don't and try it with a little bit of cracker in it. I'll try it with just the crackers first. See, this, this meal here, you can kind of diversify it by adding the cheese if you like that or just adding some crackers to thicken it up. All right, here we go with the crackers. Okay, so that adds a nice little crunch to that. That's really, adds a different element to it. So, definitely not going to complain about that. You can just kind of taste the uh, flour in there. Adds a little bit of a flour texture and taste to it. But I want to try it with the cheese and the crackers in there and see how that goes. Alright. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's where it's at. Excuse me for talking with my mouth full. Wow, that is fantastic. Usually I'm not one for adding a whole bunch of extra stuff with your main, but adding the cheese and the crackers to it just takes it to a whole nother level. And honestly, I mean, I like Tabasco for some things, but this absolutely does not need it. This Chili Mac has done perfectly, the tomato and everything. It, it's, it's very well standalone on its own. We know that this is going to add a little bit of heat with some vinegar taste, so I'm going to pass on this. Now, I do think that it could actually benefit from just a little bit of salt, not much. And I'm going to see if that does anything for just the regular entree over here. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt to it right there. And I'm going to add a little bit to our mixture over here. And I'm going to try that out with some salt on it. Let's see if that helps it out any. All right, here we go. Yeah, it does, definitely doesn't need the salt. I mean, standalone on its own, the salt did not help it out at all. I want to finish off the rest of these crackers with the cheese. And that's got a little bit of extra added salt to it. And see if that changed that at all. Again, I really don't think it needed the salt. Um, we've got these toasted corn kernels that we can actually add into it. But I'm just going to try those on their own real quick. We've got our corn nuts or toasted corn kernels. Alright, here we go. Down the hatch. Those are very crunchy. They have that, they have that really strong corn taste. Kind of like a, a Frito, if you've ever had one of those. That's kind of what those taste like, or Fritos. Just kind of lightly salted. Very good. I want to cleanse my palate with our French vanilla cappuccino drink here. All right, here we go. Mmm. Very creamy, smooth, and I made it cold, so that's a really nice, refreshing hit to my palate and cleanses it very well. That's, that's really good. I want to try out these M&Ms next and see how they've uh, fared. 
That one right there is probably one of the worst looking ones. So I'm going to grab a couple of those that are cracked. And we'll see. Alright, trying the M&Ms out. Alright, well you can see right there my hand. That's what being on crutches for almost a year and a half will do to your hands. You've got really rough calluses right there. Sorry for that guys, I know you probably don't want to look at that. Alright, let's try these M&Ms. I can't tell any difference even though they look like they have been a little bit heat stressed. They taste just like peanut M&M's to me. I don't really taste any difference in those, so those are still good to go. Nice and sweet. You got that peanut taste that makes them real nutty. Peanut taste. And the hard candy shell. Very sweet and crunchy. And then the chocolate in these are kind of powdered uh, where they've had some heat damage. But other than that, they're definitely good to go. Let's try out this, uh, this weird coffee here and see if it's drinkable. Whoa. Mm. I don't think that's any good. That's... It's got a really off taste to it. It's very bitter, but it doesn't exactly taste like the instant coffee that I'm used to. So I think something might actually be wrong with that coffee. I mean, maybe it's drinkable, maybe it's not, but I'm not going to risk it. What we got left here, we have our white gum, which I'm not going to try. You guys, you know I'm going to eat this food, so chewing that gum will just wreck my palate. We've got our matches right here. Which these matches, we'll see how well they work real quick. Not as well as the old ones from the MCIs and the old MREs that I'm used to trying out. Alright guys, this has been a review of a Menu 3 Chili Macaroni Food Packet Long Range Patrol. And what can I say about it? Um, nice balanced meal. Uh, very beefy. You can taste a lot of the beef in there, which I really like. I like meat though, I'm a meat eater. So I really do like the meat aspect of this. Very heavy with the with the meat. The cheese was very good. It's not like your everyday cheese spread. It adds a little bit more to it with that bacon flavor. You got your typical floury type MRE crackers there. The toasted corn kernels very good. Kind of like uh, taste kind of like Fritos in my opinion. Not good if you're trying to be stealthy. They will definitely give away your position because of how crunchy they are. The M&M's a little bit heat stressed, but still very good. They tasted just, just fine. And the cappuccino drink, again, very good cold. I enjoyed that. Nice, smooth, creamy drink. Uh, the coffee, what can I say? Didn't make it. You got your gum here, typical MRE gum, but yeah, I'm not. I'm going to pass on that because I want to eat this food. So, all right, guys. Well, I appreciate you hanging around watching, and I'll see you guys on the next ration review. Later. All right, just a little bit of bonus footage after I've uh, finished up. I'm freaking stuffed. I always save my drink for last. Um, I don't like to fill up on liquids. I mean, I've taken a couple sips, but that's it. I'm going to try to finish this off now, so I'll be eating everything here. Finished off the M&Ms, the corn kernels. i got a couple of those left. But uh, finished off the main entree, the crackers and the cheese. All right. I just figured I'd add and just let you guys know and, and let you see that I finished the meals because I always finish the meals. All right, thanks again for watching, guys. Later.